Hi guys, bonjour à tous, it's Romy. Welcome to this new episode of my show dedicated to helping you make a great wedding on a budget. This video is part two of my silk kimono tutorial, which will make a great gift for your bridesmaids. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and watch the first episode in which we made an easy pattern and I will show you now how to use it. But before we get started, take a few seconds to pause this video and subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss the next episode on your wedding dress. Ooh, exciting! <laughs> okay, let's get started. First, the sleeves. Fold the fabric round sides together and align the unfold marked side of the pattern on top of it without sewing allowance. For the hem of the sleeve, I'm using the finished side of the sari with its gorgeous pattern, so no sewing allowance there either. But for the rest, let's leave a little bit more than one centimeter in order to make a French seam. Quickly mark your right sleeve so you won't mix it with the left one that will cut right now. To trace it, just turn your sleeve pattern on the other side and cut. To the back now, I am folding the bit that concerns the front, the way we learned in part one of this tutorial, and I place it on the fabric that I already fold wrong sides together. For our French seam, let's leave also a good centimeter, except for the bottom hem, where I'll use again the beautiful finish of my sari fabric. Now to the front. I unfold the bottom bit and fold back the top bit. Again, this easy manipulation is well detailed in part 1. Let's place now the pattern on the folded fabric as we will cut the two fronts at once in order to have them perfectly identical. Voilà! And I mark again the right side like I did the sleeves. Let's leave the fabric of our sleeves folded wrong sides together because again we are making a French seam. Pin them and stitch them at about 5 mm from the edge and not at 1 cm. You'll curious to know why? <laughs> You'll see later! Alright, done! Let's trim the edge of the fabric at about 2 to 3 mm from the stitches. By the way, <laughs> be extra cautious not to cut your seam, it has happened to me. <laughs> and turn them wrong sides out. Pew! Magic! We need now to pin the sleeve again. You can moisture your fingers or even use your iron to open the seam more easily. And then we'll do at 5 mm from the edge a new row of stitches. So 5 plus 5 mm total our 1 cm seam allowance. Alright, done. I turn the sleeves on the right side and we have completed our French seam. You want to know something funny? In French it is called English sewing. Couture anglaise. <laughs> Alright, a good bit of ironing now. And our sleeves are done. Now let's take care of the bodice of our kimono using the same technique of sewing because it's gorgeous. <laughs> Place the fronts on top of the back wrong sides together, pin them abundantly, sew the sides and the shoulders at 5 mm and trim at about 2 to 3 mm before turning the whole thing on the wrong side. And now, just like we did for our sleeves, we have to open and pin the seam on the side, on the right shoulder, on the other right shoulder and on the other side. And we just have to quickly run another row of stitches at 5 mm. Let's bring that soft baby to the sewing machine. Hop and it is done. We just have to turn it on the right side again and this way we'll be able to attach the sleeves. Mm -hmm. 
if you're working with silk or another matte fraying fabric just get rid of the fraying first then turn your sleeve on the wrong side and insert it inside the kimono like so be careful that the seam of the sleeve is really facing down so now our two pieces are wrong sides together and we can pin all around the armhole and sew at 5 mm. Be gentle with your fabric here, don't pull it. You want to kindly guide it under the presser foot and that way you'll avoid that it stretches too much. Now this is done, we're going to trim it again at about 2 to 3 millimeters from the edge. Be cautious. <laughs> and then we can turn the sleeve on itself, like so. And for our French seam we will pin all around. And so again at five millimeters. All right, our sleeve is attached. You can see here the French seam and don't worry, a good ironing will make it all smooth and beautiful. Now let's attach the second one by repeating the same process and now we just have to tackle the front hem. Fold the fabric at 5 mm and fold again at 5 mm and if you'd like use your sewing machine to stitch as close as possible to the fold. If you feel like listening to a good podcast, it's time to practice our invisible hand sewing skills. <laughs> that could be so pretty. I have placed for you in the description box the link to my silk scarf tutorial where I show you in details how to make an invisible stitch in this fragile fabric. I explain there as well how to handle the pointy corner at the start and the end of the hemline. And finally, a good and thorough ironing session, which I should have made at every step of our kimono construction, but well, c'est la vie. <laughs> oh, here. Have a look at the gorgeous French seam that you made. No fraying, no ugly stuff. Look at our shoulder, beautiful. All right, time to try the kimono on. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I am very grateful and hope that you will give it a try yourself like I did. Subscribe to my channel to boost my motivation and leave me a nice comment. You can also download the small skate pattern with the measurement informations on my website. It is free and the link to the page is in the description box. Last but not least, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bye bye! A bientôt!